let me show you this. Pretty cool, right? I don't know if you noticed this, but it feels like every new feature since Evernote 10 is geared towards making Evernote more of a hub. For example, the first thing I saw when I arrived at the studio today was my next appointment and a task that I have to complete today. And I didn't have to do anything. It was seamless. I have Evernote set to start up when I turn on the computer and to start on Evernote Home. And on Evernote Home, the first widget I have is my calendar and right below it is Evernote Tasks widget. Everything is there. Let me show you an example of a new feature. This, this calendar event here has a note attached to it. Check this. We can now share this note with the meeting participants. This is so cool. <laughs> it's such a, 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 a simple yet powerful detail. And that's it. The note is now shared with everyone that was invited to that meeting. And as you saw on the pop-up window, you could exclude people that you don't want to share the note with. Okay, let's talk about the spreadsheet preview. They have to be in one of these six supported formats and all you need to do is drag the file inside an Evernote note. Of course, you can click that gray bar on the top to convert it to uh, an attachment. You don't need to always see it in preview mode, but I think this is <laughs> this is the goal here, right? We want to see it uh, in preview mode. Um, I'm more of a Google Drive person. I love my spreadsheets online, so I don't see myself using this that much. However, I'm sure many of my students will love this new feature. A lot of them still use spreadsheet clients on the computer, so it's just a matter of clicking the file to open it on, on the spread, let's say Excel client and work on that. There are some limits though, as you can see here on Evernote's help page, you mostly see the spreadsheet. You can move uh, from one tab to another, but you won't be able to see charts, images, frozen panes, text formatting, background formatting. And there's another important detail here. This feature is available to customers with Evernote Professional and Teams subscriptions. What about you? Uh, are you using Evernote as this digital hub? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.